USA here. I got a cool item in the mail the other day, and uh, we got a little bit of warm weather today, or warmer weather today, and I wanted to share it with you guys. The uh, the guys over at Siege Stove sent me a few of their latest stoves. All right, guys. So here's what we've got. This is our stove bracket. We have two that have points on them and then two that have the rounded nubs I guess you'd call them on them. The pointed ones are for the bottom of your can. They lock together just like this and then on your coffee can. Uh, this one I've already had this on once but you basically you just put it on there and even if you don't have the slots in your can already you just put it on there and you push down first time I did this, I just set it up there, hit it with the palm of my hand, those sharp points puncture right through the bottom of the can, no problem. Turn it over, that gives you a nice solid base. Back this up so you can see here. Gives you a nice solid base for your stove. Won't tip over, gets it up off the ground, let a little, little bit of airflow get up underneath there when you get your fire inside. Then you take the ones with the rounded nubs on it put those together in the same way and they just fit down they just fit down on the side of your can like so and push on the same way that the bottom did it's just these grip on the top of the can like so all right so this is your can stove you can see it's got a big area up here you can set your pot on you won't have to worry about it tipping like you do on a can. It lifts it off of the can so the fire can come out and around the bottom of your pan or your pot. And like I said, this one, this is the big one. Um, they do make the smaller versions. You can get them all the way down here to juice size. And of course, this diameter can, they, uh, they make a smaller can as well in the same diameter that you could use these brackets on uh, as well as this size juice can. So, with this particular can, there's enough room in here that you can pack your, your, your grass or your paper or whatever you're using for, for tinder right down in here. I was looking at this earlier and I was thinking on this size, you might be ahead to pack your grass in here before you set this on top. Now, I haven't tried this yet. That was just kind of a kind of an initial thought when I when I looked at this after I after I put it together. So I've got some grass here. This old dry grass. I'm gonna throw some of this down in here. Push that in, fluff it up just a little bit so it can get some air. And I've got some sticks over here. Now these sticks, these are all just little sticks that I broke up by hand. I didn't do any any chopping, any sawing, anything like that. This is all just stuff I picked up off the ground over here and, and broke up with my hand. One advantage to these little stoves is they burn hot and they burn efficient. And uh, it shouldn't take a whole lot to get them going. Now, siege stoves said that you light these from the top. Unlike, uh, you know, I've got a rocket stove and you know you light that from the bottom. On these, they said it lights from the top. So let's light this joker up and and we'll see uh, we'll see what she does. I'm uh, I'm curious. I'm a little excited. I think they're going to work pretty well. I use my primitive lighter here. using a fire steel. All right, well, the directions say you light her from the top and uh, and she goes. And it looks
looks like it's going. Well, the grass is definitely going in there. Throw in a few more of these little sticks. And get down here. Get down here out of the smoke a little bit. ignition. I was waiting on all those little sticks in there to start catching. Well that's definitely definitely burning. Throw in some larger sticks. You can't see, well maybe you can over there, but this can had a liner on it. So that liner is now burned out of there. That's probably where a lot of that smoke was coming from. Alright, just feed a bunch of these sticks down in here. holes going but it's definitely cooking right along it didn't take a whole lot to get that going so so far so good Throw a few more bigger sticks down in here and let those get started all right well we definitely have a fire going in here while that's going, let me talk about a couple other things. You don't have to take a can with you. You can use a can that you find, or you know, if you uh, if you have a juice can, or there's other cans around the campsite. All you have to do is just grab any old can that uh, you know that fits your bracket, of course. Punch a few holes in it. You can either get an ice pick or something like this from Siege Stoves or you know your local store, or you can just take a knife punch a few holes in the can all the way around just something to get that air in there put a few holes in the bottom so it can draw that air up slap your brackets on and you're ready to cook now of course you can use this for boiling water and like I said it's got this wide top so you can set you a pretty good size skillet up on there and the fire of course will just lick around the bottom and you cook your you know your food in the skillet now one thing the siege stove also has are these little guys Anybody that's barbecued has probably seen these things or something similar to them. This is one that Siege has, or one of the ones. They have a couple sizes. Um, this thing, basically, you'd put your food in between there, you'd clamp it, and then you'd be able to hold this right over your fire. These handles are just held on with a little bolt and a wing nut. So you can loosen that up, spin this handle around, tighten it back down, and the whole package is only going to be that thick and that square. So, pretty easy to throw that into uh, into your backpack, throw it into your car, whatnot. This is a larger version here. Like I said, they've got a couple sizes. So this large one, of course, it'd be good. You know, you could get a couple hamburgers on there, throw that up over the grill, and cook away. One other thing that they have that I think is kind of cool are these little guys. This thing here just hangs on the side like that. You can set your bread down in there and toast your bread or a bagel or you know whatever you know whatever that thing it holds. Hell, you could probably put a couple of bratwursts in there and hang it up on the side if you wanted to. All right, well it's been burning for just a few minutes here. Got a pretty decent little. Pretty decent little bed of coals going on down in there now. And add a couple of add a couple of sticks.
plenty of heat coming off of this thing now. Definitely appreciate that. It's still uh, still pretty chilly out here. It's not uh, it's not covered in snow anymore, but it's definitely cool. Now, I've been out here working all day, and I knew I was going to be doing this review. We're going to give it a test. All right. Well, you, probably no reason for you to sit here and watch me cook a steak for 10 minutes. We'll come back when we get her closer to done, see how it did. Well, all right, guys. Got my little steak here, cooked to perfection. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Bread over here, definitely toasted. I did have to turn it over once halfway through thereabouts just so it kind of toasts evenly on the top and the bottom of course I'm cooking over coals now so most of the heat's down here you know halfway halfway up the can and, and, and lower but uh, but it worked out real well looks like it's gonna be a good uh, looks like it's gonna be a good dinner here all right guys well <clears throat> siege stoves can stoves Looks like a success. They uh, they heat right up like you would expect, and uh, they definitely cooked my steak there without plenty of heat. Toast that bread, nice coal base there to, uh, to cook that steak over. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The, the camera clicked off. It wants to keep doing that. Apparently, it's apparently it's too cold to be happy out here. All right. Well, I'm gonna call Siege Stoves a success. It, uh, it definitely did what it was supposed to. It cooked me a steak sandwich. Yeah. Uh, if uh, if you'd like to find out more about Siege Stoves, I'll put a link down in the comments. You can check them out on the web. Uh, you can check us out on the web at BlackthornUSA.com. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video. Um, I guess we'll see you next time. Appreciate it.